the feast at the banqueting hall to taste them all. Yes, taste them all. Now before you go get indigestion, I have a suggestion that you'll don't hang on, hang on yourself at the emperor's ball. That is all, that is all. Please don't eat like a pig at the ball. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. could not dress a salad, let alone an emperor. Well, I will have you know, sir, that a gentleman, please, why quarrel when you know that this contest can have but one conclusion? It is inevitable, prodding, authentical, please. Let the formalities commence, let the contest begin. Just be assured, the prize is mine. I tell you no, the prize is mine, the prize is mine. My fashions are a great sensation. They are the grandest in creation. I am a master of design. I am a master of design. I am a master of design. Now 
No, mine. Mine, mine, mine. The price is mine. Bumbling buffoons, fat-headed fools, don't feel the clowns belong in a circus. It would be a shame, a travesty, nay, an unspeakable crime, if one of those popinjays took a hundred florins. Such a fabulous prize should really go to someone more deserving, someone who is brilliant, someone clever and cunning, someone with a profound yet subtle gift for chicanery and deception. What coincidence that des that description just happens to fit me exactly. But alas, how to win it, how to trick them, how to proceed. Yes, yes, that's it. I have a most ingenious plan. Oh, what a chance for the scent of your scent, a golden opportunity. Just how to swing the royalty and escape the penalty. For a ruse, I'd be a sailor or a very skillful tailor. Yes, a very skillful tailor. Now, let's get on with the confine bound to make 100 florists today. Yes, 100 florists today. And be on my merry way. Now then, to proceed, the first step in any great master plan is to begin at the beginning. I shall convince this mob of simpletons, the great tailor who recently come to resign in our realm, and that I, and I alone, know a secret identity. Taking into account their timidity, vapidity, obvious stupidity, as well as my great genius for cunning and conniving, this little task should prove to be very easy indeed. The very latest. There's a tailor who's the greatest. He's coming here, he may be near, and very soon he will appear as thou so sophisticated. A classic look, but not outdated. And when you see, you will agree, this tailor most assuredly has no peer. Have you heard the very latest? It's working. It's really working. They've got it. The fools have bought it or so. It does appear. One hundred florins is behind. A tiny sum of cash will soon be mine. I see. It will be. Then I will slip away and disappear. Soon the contest will begin. This great new tailor is bound to win. His end is bound to be surely. There's no way I can lose. With such a clever move. This contest I am bound to win. Listen 
to me. Sure. 
Have a proper fitting from these tailors. Please remember that and measure me again. Go and measure me again. Fourteen. Won't I look most regal, Chancellor? Eighteen. Like a royal eagle, Chancellor? Twenty. Don't you think? Thirty. Don't you think I'll look absolutely stunning? Forty-seven. And did you hear? Won't I look stunning? Please do tell me frankly, Chancellor, don't you think that I'll look absolutely positively stunning? Yes, Your Highness, I'm quite sure you'll look magnificent. Yes, Your Highness, I'm quite sure you'll look refined. Only if we all go blind. What did you say? Yes, Your Highness. That's what I thought. You will look stunning. I must have a royal suit that's to my liking. I must have a royal suit that's to my liking. Only the finest and grandest for me. For me. For me. Go and summon every tailor in the nation. Have each bring a most magnificent creation. I'll prepare myself with great anticipation. Oh, how splendid my suit shall to be! Oh, how splendid my suit shall to be! Your Highness, get moving! What, Your Highness? Don't just stand there! Oh, how splendid my suit shall to be! Splendid to see, it's sure to be! Oh, how splendid my suit shall to be! Scoundrels, how do you waste my time? Did you 
think I'd be elated Seeing what you fabricated I'm instead most aggravated For this dreadful presentation I should seek your deportation There's justice if I do I believe that is my cue But for now away with all of you Pardon me, pardon me Pardon me, your majesty There's a tailor on his way Who's the greatest, so they say He arrives this very day Is the story valid, stranger? Are your sources verified? And do you all concur, my lord? Your friends, is this true, or has he lied? Mr. Taylor, who's coming, is a genius, it's true. Glorious news, how fortunate indeed. Glorious news, the contest may proceed. Now go at once and find this man. Return as quickly as you can. Now I must demand that you do not delay. You're at my command, you will hear and obey. You must not delay, you'll hear and obey. Well, I see my darling daughter has arrived. Did you find a new dress for the ball, my dear? Sadly, no, but I did meet a very nice young man. What's this, a young man, you say? Don't you remember we had that little talk about young men? Oh, father, stop worrying. He was, of course, a nobleman. No. Rich. No. Well dressed. Alas, no, but he was sweet and kind and very honest. I have invited him to the royal ball. You did what? My daughter, you must be joking. It is time that you learn to pick your friends more wisely. Come sit with me. I will give you some very sage and fatherly advice. I offer this lesson, daughter. So please listen carefully, no matter what you may do, don't forget your station in life. Your thoughts and deeds must be spotless, your friend's nobility, so you'll deserve the king. Who will one day take you to wife? A lord may wed a lady The match need not be delayed A country girl is well suited A farmer's wife to be A poor man's fit for a poor lass, a butler for a maid, a nobleman for a princess makes suitable company. Won't I look quite stunning, Chancellor, in my royal new suit? Of His Excellency, the Emperor Leopold, King of 
Corinthia, Translov, Czechoslovakia, do God. Yes, I know who I am. Now, who is this? Is the great new tailor. Splendid. I have a tell of your fine skill, sir, and have anxiously awaited your arrival. Your Excellency flatters me with his most generous invitation. I'll do more than flatter you, my good man, if you succeed in making for me the most unique, most spectacular, and most regal suit of clothes ever worn by a monarch. I will gladly double your reward. Two hundred florins, your excellency is most gullib... most gracious. <laughs> Be assured that you have chosen the right tailor for the job. Kindly allow me to introduce myself. Klaus Fettig, at your service, sir, our traveling tailor here for her. I'm brilliantly creative and quite smart, a master of the tailor's art. My designs are stylish and unique, so tasteful, pure, and yet so chic. But invisible they are sure to be to those who lack nobility. For a man of your prodigious wit, it won't be hard, no, not a bit. Though common folk may be led astray, you're sure to see them right away. You will understand a genius there, the only suited for a king to wear. But invisible they are sure to be to those who lack nobility. Bravo, Fettig, Fettig, bravo! I am so excited to see my new suit that I can barely contain myself. Please, please, continue. Show me your most exquisite wares. At once, Your Excellency. For your tunic, I have selected this raiment of the most delicate fur, royal peshmergi silk, a fabric so refined that only a true noble can appreciate its touch. Don't you agree? Of course, it is splendid, like wearing nothing at all. A peshmerky silk, you say? Yes, Excellency. Woven from the silk of baby peshmerky silkworms, who've been fed only the most tender shoots of the filberry bush. As for your robe, this brocaded cut velvet, woven with threads of the most precious metals, Sylvanium and Gilder, mine from the peak of Mount Vindaloo and the Valley of Masala. Is it that blinding in its glory? Indeed, so spectacular I can barely see it. If your excellency would be so kind as to stand here and remain perfectly still while I make a few finishing touches. At last, I will soon be wearing a suit worthy of this royal occasion. Begin at once. I'll look grand in my new suit It will soon be ready Noble regal chic to boot Please try to hold steady All my subjects soon will honor me Surely they're approving In my royal finery Not if you keep moving Let's try it on now, is that too tight? Oh, ah, you're pinching There, is that better? Yes, that's all right Your Highness, please just stop flinching Is it finished? In a moment No, 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 no. See just how magnificent a monarch can be. Yes, it's perfect, a glorious sight. A suit so resplendent is sure to delight. 
I look grand in my new suit, fit just right for wearing. Noble regal chic to boot, it's beyond comparing. All my subjects now will honor me with a love unfading. As in my new finery, I go out parading. Friends and subjects, please come at once. I now proclaim an end to the contest. The decision is final, the verdict is in. And the winner and recipient of the prize shall be none other than the great Claus Fertig.
Lady Constanza? My Lord Chancellor, I've been looking everywhere for that wayward little girl. Tell me, please, did you happen to see her? The princess, sorry, no. Well, that is very, very bad. Tell me, did you by chance happen to see His Excellency? The Emperor? Why, no, my lord. Well, that is very, very good. <laughs> my lord. I'll explain later. Now I see our guests arriving. The royal ball is about to begin.
Chancellor. Yes, Excellency. Be careful not to let my cape drag on the ground. It would be unthinkable to spoil its regal splendor. Trust me, Excellency. You will never see a speck of dirt on it. Good day, my loyal subjects. In honor of this grand occasion, I am wearing, as you see, a resplendent new suit, created in mine none other than the great Claus Fertig, a master tailor whose designs are so subtle and so sophisticated that only the truly noble can appreciate their perfection. Is it not most magnificent? Indescribable, Your Majesty. We had never seen anything like it. Its radiance leaves us speechless. I don't understand. Why do you all see? He clearly is not wearing any clothes. What an outrage! How dare you? Guards arrest him. Guards restrain him. Bring the shackles, bind and chain him. What are we to do, Lady? So you like mocking me? Well, then we shall see how much fun you have insulting me in jail. Noble, you simply don't see. My lady, your lordship, act quickly. I will not summon the guards, arrest the villain, Fetig. I've made my decision. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. His highness, forgive me. No, I will never. Please, father, forgive him. No chance whatsoever. Forgive
that takes care of that. Father, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yes, that young boy. How in heaven's name did he ever get in here? I invited him, Father. His name is Johann Mueller. He is the boy that I told you about. And then you did not heed my advice. Oh, but I did, Father. You told me to choose my friends more wisely. And so I have. What a foolish man I've been Of course I shall release this fine young man at once Oh, how could I be such a dunce? It's plain to see that he was right and I've been taken in So please forgive me if you can For foolish vanity can blind a man What a noble sense of humor What a noble sense of humor As our most beloved ruler As our most beloved ruler Beloved ruler, beloved ruler Oh, we're laughing with delight Oh, we're laughing with delight For his underwear is showing Cost me quite a lot of money To end up looking very funny So very funny It's not funny To look so funny Ha 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 ha